In this video, I'm going to be showing how to basically uh, modify this um, with some rechargeable batteries. So basically, you can just recharge it every now and then. The common issue with these is the battery sh life is just not very good. Um, a couple of months, if that. Even if you buy the really good branded batteries. So I decided I'm going to modify this. Um, so you can literally put a charger in to, to charge it up. So I actually have two of these. So this is one that I've done, and basically there's just a, I'll just show you on this one. There's a couple of screws, two screws there, and it comes apart. Uh, this is what it's like inside. You'll have two metal tabs there for your old battery. And you'll have a capacitor here. I've removed the capacitor. Uh, I'll explain more about that later on. Now, these batteries are recycled out of an old laptop battery pack that was no longer working. Um, and these were the cells that were left over that were still okay. I am going to upload a video on how to um, get these batteries, but for now, really, if you want to do this modification, all you need really is a just like a lipo battery you can buy these off ebay they're very cheap i'll put a couple of links in the description just to give you an, um, an idea but basically you want um a 3.7 volt battery um, they do them in all kinds of shapes and sizes um i've gone for these um i can't remember what these are these are not aa sizes these are just slightly bigger um i'll put the size on the screen now that's what size these are uh, they fit in the uh, krieg uh, lead torches and stuff like that. Uh, these are very good. These are 2,000 milliamps each. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8,000 milliamps. It's really good. I mean, once this is fully charged, it's going to last ages, especially on this. So, all I'm basically doing in this video is all I've done is I basically soldered, soldered the um, for now, the positive to the negative. That was just to test that it works. And as you can see, this has been running for a good few weeks now. Now, these batteries, once you get them in, this is basically how they're going to go inside, um, like that. But as you can see, straight away, we have a problem. The batteries are simply way too big to fit in. So what, I'm gonna, so what I've actually done is I've designed and had printed, 3D printed this. Which basically, this is the bottom side of the case, is going to be glued on to here. Perfect fit. And all, as you can see, what that does, I mean, I've got it lined up properly, is it ex makes it thicker. So that's just my battery charger, and it just makes this a bit thicker. So we can fit these larger batteries. Now, if you use these batteries that I'm using, you'll have to get this obviously to extend this to fit them in I will leave a link to the file for to have this made just contact anyone on eBay or anyone online shop around I paid around about four pounds to have this made and that was postage included uh, I have it printed in ABS white plastic and it's as simple as that so once you've got that you want to glue that onto there like so I've also added a little port here so we can plug the charger cable in and out to charge this again I'll leave in the description a parts list of everything you need um, I might even add a micro USB port here so you can use mobile phone chargers to charge this up but for now I've just used that because it's what I had in my parts bin so once that is glued on there we can then install these batteries now I'm actually going to install these batteries this way, like so. This cable is going to be cut down because we need to add a um, a charging circuit here, um, which basically control turns the charger on and off. You know when these batteries are fully charged. So, but as you can see, I'll just quickly get that in here. Put this right away. That this all now fits in perfectly.
And as you can see, once this is all glued in place, probably should show after what it looks like once it's done. But basically, that's what it'll look like. Now, you could get smaller batteries to put in this, and then you wouldn't have to do this. But like I say, these are just batteries I had laying around. So these are the uh, batteries that I'm going to use. Um, now these have been uh, recycled out of old laptop battery packs. And inside the laptop battery packs are these. Um, those six cells all together. Um, two cells were bad, leaving these four. Now these four have been dischar discharged and recharged separately on their own and um, they're all reading 3.7 volts 2292 milliamps so all these batteries have been discharged on their own and then recharged up to, to basically see if they're okay and they're all reading either 2000 milliamps or just over so all these four batteries are good and we're going to uh, sort of these up in the series so because each battery is 3.7 um, volts each um, so what we're going to do is join them all like that all the negatives together and all the positives together that will still give us a 3.7 volts out but you're adding all the milliamps up so before I solder it I'm basically going to add a 10k thermistor to these batteries now it's not really needed because the battery charger we're using um, has a lot of safety features built in but you can actually add a thermistor and all it does um, this is all a thermistor is is it just uh, when this reaches 50c celsius it'll tell the charger to stop charging it's like a little extra safety feature now really it's not needed with these charger the charger that we're using on these if you look up and read all the specs you don't actually need this but I'm just going to add this to this pack and then if I can actually add this to the charger I will do if I can't then it's not going to uh, you know be in there so I'm just going to sellotape this to the middle pack now you don't need to do this step if you don't want to it's not really needed I'm just going to do it just to experiment around with it so now I'm going to sellotape these together now, what I'm going to use first is a bit of tape, and I'm just going to put some tape onto a flat surface like that with a sticky side up. If you can see it there, it's a bit tricky. And I'm going to put one cell like that. In fact, I'm just going to do it like that, and then try. So we've got a pack like that. Now you can just double check it will fit in, which it should. We'll double check again. Now don't worry about this hole in the back of there because that grey plastic cover that goes on the back of there will cover that. So and well it would it wouldn't hit to have a bit of ventilation in there. These batches shouldn't get warm, but if they do, things there. And as you can see. They fit nice and flush in there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, now we know it fits in there nice and neat, you can put a bit of sponge over the top uh, to keep these pushed down when you get the lid on. So what I'm going to do is now we're going to solder. Now I'm just using this gauge wire. It's um, about three millimeters thick I can't remember what gauge this is in fact yes I can because it's written on here um, there you go one millimeter one millimeter um, so yeah that's all I'm using so all I'm gonna do is gonna snip some off and all we're gonna do is go straight along the top like that connecting all the positives up of the battery Thank you. 
the modification a little bit of a look so this is all now fully glued on and if I ever want to take this apart I can just put a little razor blade in between there to separate the glue and that will come off um, so you can charge this by putting a plug into there or you can charge it by using a micro USB there there's a little lead that to tell you whether it, when it's fully charged or not and all in all that um, that's not a bad job and it stands up as normal um, I'll just plug it in now this is a micro USB it's just a mobile phone charger um, plug it into there and red lights on telling you it's charging um, in a few minutes this will go blue because it's already fully charged um, and that light also comes on when you plug it into there so really I didn't need to add that but if that port breaks for any reason we can always use that one which is it's just this little 5 volt with a thingy on the end and it just goes into there like so but I think we'll just be using the mobile phone chargers um, which is a 1 amp max which is perfect for these chargers and yeah um, I just cut a little hole there it's not perfectly cut out but it's, it's the right side to plug these in like so in fact I'll just see if you can see that light a bit better so yeah that's now shouldn't really very really need charging so like I say all the files for this 3d printed part will be in the description so you can download that and have that made yourself and uh, Hopefully this helps somebody out there. Um, so yeah, not bad. Not, not bad. <laughs> <laughs>